Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So we've got XRP price going crazy right now, trading at $1.18. Guys, I saw this number go as high as $1.189 within the 30 seconds that I was setting up the microphone. Uh, and sure enough, right now here, look at it. It's at $1.19. It went from $1.18 to $1.19 within less than a minute. This is the craziness that we are going to expect coming up. Um, XRP price continuing to move very, very fast. And we're going to talk about these fluctuations in price and how this is really going to make a lot of people really rich. Here's XRP on the daily. We can see it right now. Strong bullish momentum upward for XRP, breaking out of that ascending triangle. And um, you know what? XRP is not the only one that is doing great right now. The market cap is back over $2 trillion and Bitcoin dominance still hovering at around 55%. So we've got Bitcoin up as well, 2.79%. Ethereum up 3.45%. we have even got Binance Coin up 11.97% and XRP back in number four spot, uh, trading right now at about a dollar 19 up 16 percent give or take and in the last seven days xrp has clearly been the biggest mover up 82.26 percent so the narrative has changed xrp price going crazy and here are some examples of that xrp crypto wolf posting this xrp price surge defies the sec clamp down on crypto now coin telegraph is the one reporting on this and i feel like even they have had a change of heart on xrp um you know although they are a news outlet there are entities behind these news outlets and coin telegraph i found in the past has uh, tended to kind of sway towards the more negative side of the spectrum when we we talk about XRP, but I mean, you can't deny the news. Here's what they're saying now. After the U.S. Security and Exchange Commission initiated a lawsuit against Ripple, alleging that the firm had been indulging in the sale of securities worth $1.3 billion, a number of prominent exchanges across the globe, including Coinbase, Kraken, OKCoin, uh, proceeded to delist XRP. As a result, many across the globe thought it was just a matter of time before the once promising project died a slow but sure death. Well, guess again. However, it seems that XRP has been on a tear ever since the bad news dropped, uh, with the cryptocurrency's value having risen by over 100% since the start of April, currently trading at around $1.03. Now, this article was just released uh, 22 hours ago, so within the last 24 hours, and XRP has jumped from $1.03, right now trading at $1.19. Huge gains for XRP, uh, and we can see volume rising as well. Let's take a look at this. So more news here coming from Cointelegraph, brought to us by XRP Crypto Wolf. XRP futures open interest hits $1.2 billion, a new all-time high. So XRP's price journey to $1 this year has been nothing short of spectacular considering the ongoing SEC lawsuit. The regulator alleges that uh, Chris Larson and Brad Garlinghouse were being bad when it comes to XRP. I'm not going to get into the details. I think you know them by now. Uh, on Tuesday, Ripple Labs was granted access to the SEC's documents expressing the agency's interpretation or views on the subject of crypto assets. So such news coincided with the explosive 75% rally in 30 hours, causing XRP to cross the $1 mark for the first time since March of 2018. Let's also take a look at this portion of the article. Positive news boosts XRP derivatives market growth. Whatever the rationale behind such an impressive move, investors' interest in XRP futures trading skyrocketed as open interest reach $1.2 billion, a new all-time high. So this is getting people interested. XRP price continuing to rally um, and you know, traders looking to capitalize on this market. Of course, uh, XRP has been held down for so long. And, um, you know, this is why we've all spent time analyzing and pouring over the charts and, you know, thinking to ourselves, what's our best move? And um, you know what, guys, you and I are going to come out of this gloriously and victoriously. So here's some more news that uh, I think is really going to help pump the price of XRP as well. XRP is now relisted on CoinGate. So CoinGate has relisted XRP, but it is for non-US citizens. Uh, here is a post from their blog. Although we do not agree with the statement that XRP was on the brink of its virtual end as 95% of XRP is traded outside of the United States. Here it goes, XRP relisted on CoinGate, now available to be bought, paid with, and accepted as a payment for non-US citizens. Uh, blockchain payment processor company CoinGate is relisting XRP as a tradable, payable, and payment acceptable asset for its non-US users. This decision was made after a recent progress update in the lawsuit between the SEC and Ripple Labs favoring the latter. And so what they are talking about is the copious amounts of positive news that is coming uh, from Judge Netburn, who has been granting Ripple uh, privileges 
to see, uh, for example, the Bitcoin and Ethereum documents. So this all has to do with the court case. I'm sure you guys are following that as well. Um, but CoinGate now relisting XRP. And I think it's only going to be a matter of time before we see many others follow suit. Maintaining bullishness is BitBoy Crypto. Now he does have a YouTube channel and uh, Straight Up XRP brought this to our attention here on Twitter. This guy's the biggest crypto YouTuber and hater of XRP and even he has changed his ways. If you guys go to his uh, YouTube page, he has over, I think over 700,000 followers, something like that, or subscribers. Take a listen to what he has to say. Guys, listen, here's the thing. Uh, we got Bitcoin kind of pumping right now, kind of exciting stuff. I talk to you guys about Bitcoin and trading every day. I think what's going on right now with XRP is extremely interesting. And I'm announcing today that I'm officially joining the XRP army. Or at least, maybe I'm not going that far, okay? But I'm at least going to start adding XRP back to my portfolio. And here is one. <laughs> what a joke. I mean... You know, the fact that this guy is saying that he is going to start adding XRP to his portfolio now, when XRP is already at $1.18, I mean, sure, there are likely still gains to be had, and I know some people are like, well, yeah, but you know, you, you've even said, you know, the blockchain backer says it's going to 10 to $13, you know, everybody's so bullish on XRP, why wouldn't you add to your portfolio now? That's not the point. The point is, is that this guy is just following the hype of what's going on. And um, chances are he may attract some more viewers because of it. I don't know if he's likely going to alienate some viewers because, um, you know, there are two camps in crypto, I think. Uh, those who believe in utility tokens and the future of cryptocurrency and those who are primal ideologues who believe, you know, no, Bitcoin, take over the system. Um, you know, that whole narrative. And the fact that BitBoy is now saying... Uh, I'm going to start adding XRP to my portfolio now seems a bit, mm, you know, either he is saying it for his fans or he has already added XRP, perhaps, you know, maybe when it was down here, maybe he is truthfully actually adding XRP. I don't really know. It seems like an about face, especially when we haven't seen this high a price for XRP in three years. Okay. <laughs> Remember, Everybody was jumping on the XRP train back when this originally occurred back in, uh, you know, late 2017 uh, in and around this time here. All right. XRP, everybody who is holding XRP here, you know, Bitcoin maximalists, you know, bashing the coin, XRP hodlers getting very, very upset that their uh, coin wasn't pumping. And then as soon as this happened, boy, did that narrative shift. And I think that we are seeing the exact same thing happening today with YouTube influencers who haven't been talking about XRP uh, for the last three years. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you and I already know we hold one of the best cryptocurrencies ever created. And so since we saw XRP jump uh, virtually overnight, like 15 cents or more, uh, what can we expect realistically? First of all, how many of you guys have rotated your profits from other cryptocurrencies that have already rallied into XRP? And now, is it already too late if you have not? I mentioned in a video I did last month that I have just recently converted, I rotated some of my Binance coin profits into XRP. Now, Binance coin is also doing very, very well. But at that time, uh, let me bring up the XRP BNB chart real quick here. At that time, Binance Coin to XRP was coming down, forming an inverted head and shoulders pattern. And uh, I have the line on here, guys. I bought it at 0 0.00182, and I know that doesn't mean anything, uh, but it's when Binance Coin was rallying, it was forming this inverted head and shoulders pattern. I bought right in here on that second shoulder and then it shot back up. So when would that have been? That would have been, let me just delete that, right in here. So this candlestick was, uh, it came down right in here was when the order got placed. So March 31st, March 31st, if I, br if I had held my BNB, let's just go over here to the BNB chart. On March 31st, had I held my BNB, because we got to remember BNB has also rallied as well. March 31st would bring me about here for BNB. Okay, so let's just take it from the bottom of that candlestick. Had I held, had I kept my BNB, I would have made another 57.5% on that. All right, you guys can see that there, 57.5% give or take based on today's price. Aha, uh -huh, but instead what I did was I rotated it into XRP. And what do we have here, guys? XRP, how much more did it rally since uh, March 31st? Uh, so this is March 31st. 
and XRP has rallied over 114%. So you guys can see that move clearly a good decision to make. Leveraging your profits, seeing that there is opportunity. I mean, I hope you guys have done this already. This isn't a video telling you guys to do this. I mean, if it doesn't make sense now, um, you know, I wouldn't do it. I mean, of course, that's not financial advice. You do what you see fit with your hard-earned money. But let's talk a little bit more about XRP price. So I'm just going to bring up another XRP chart here. And I have this fractal pattern that uh, I brought over already, and I've already kind of extended it out. Now, for those of you guys who watch the channel, you know, uh, this is the fractal pattern that I'm talking about uh, back in 2017. When we, after we saw this forming, we saw a big move up for XRP. Well, I took that fractal pattern and I extended it out a bit. And uh, if you guys see here, if you bring it up here, you guys can see, let me just see if I can sort that out. Try to kind of get it as close as possible uh, right here. All right, so right in around here, I believe that's pretty close. All right, tops and bottoms. You guys can see that matches fairly well. And you guys can see right here, XRP right now trading right there, okay? It's at about 21, or sorry, $1.21. Wow, we keep going up and up. So $1.21 right here. And, um, you know, we can't shoot up forever. So where are we going to find this resistance? Well, the next level is the 0 0.382, okay? And that would bring us right over here, okay? And you can see that on the fractal. And uh, clearly this is the Fibonacci 132, which is only about 10 cents away. I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, that would have been, that would have brought us right over here in this fractal pattern. You guys can see if I, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is a little bit of a resistance over the days, the overlay. There wasn't too much of one. I mean, there wasn't days and days of days of reaccumulation, but you guys can see it here. Let's see if I can zoom in a little better and take away this. You guys can see that there. Um, actually, you can't because you don't you don't actually see the, the tails and wicks. I guess you just got to take my word for it. Um, at the $1.32 mark, at least today on the chart, uh, if we bring the fractal over from 2017 we did see a bit of resistance not too much so um i wouldn't be surprised if this is where we see some more resistance of course we're always hoping that we're just going to keep blasting through these uh, fibonacci levels and uh hopefully Hopefully that happens. Now, something else was brought up by Leonidas Hajilozu on Twitter, and I suggest you follow this guy. He runs the XRPRK.com. Very, very astute observation. The XRP price fluctuation in the last 24 hours, okay, was about 19 and a half cents, or 0.194, was slightly higher than the total value of XRP a year ago today, which was at 18.8.188. So the entire value of XRP trading at just shy of 19 cents a year ago, that was the value of XRP. And now we're seeing today within the last 24 hours, the fluctuation. So the amount XRP rose is higher than what an entire XRP cost just about a year ago. And I think this is something we have to pay attention to, and this is something I have mentioned in former videos, and this is the fluctuation effect that I want you guys to understand. XRP right now trading at about $1.20, and uh, you guys can see the incremental uh, movements for XRP uh, are, you know, it goes up by about a tenth or two tenths of a cent uh, every now and then, and those are the incremental movements we see at the current price point of XRP. We see this with other cryptocurrencies as well. You know, it doesn't move up by, um, by five or 10 cents at this point, or it doesn't move up by dollars at this point, point, it moves up incrementally slower. But what happens, guys, to Bitcoin, for example? Well, you have Bitcoin on the chart here. Let me just bring up Bitcoin and you guys can see Bitcoin. Let's put Bitcoin on the USD. Okay. And when Bitcoin moves, let's see it move. It hasn't moved in a while. Okay. Bitcoin's not really moving. So I'm just going to refresh it every few seconds there. You guys can see it jump by about $9 here. I'm going to refresh it again. Okay. See jumped another $3. So you guys can see this incremental change for Bitcoin. Uh, and I'm sorry, it's not doing it automatically for whatever reason, this isn't refreshing. So I'm just refreshing it manually. See, they are back down another $3 or so. You are seeing these huge fluctuations because the price point of Bitcoin is up much higher. When we were seeing XRP trading at about 18 cents, we weren't seeing those great price fluctuations. But as Leonidas points out, within the last 24 hours, XRP has fluctuated by about 19 cents, okay, just in the last 24 hours. So this, I think, is also going to have an impact for XRP hodlers hodling XRP. We're going to see these price fluctuations, I think, in my opinion, be higher, much higher as the price keeps rallying. What does that mean, guys? Ultimately, higher gains for your portfolio. The cheaper you bought XRP, clearly the more money you're going to be making. And that return on investment is just going to accelerate because price fluctuations are going to be that much higher. That's just my opinion, but I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.